What's up guys, it's Ryan here and uh, I'm going to bring you in a review of two hand renders for the coffee beans I've recently got. Um, so to tell you the truth, I've just recently fallen in love uh, with this you know, hand crafting coffee at home. Um, and to make coffee at home, you really need a grinder. And this is the first grinder I got. It's from Time More. Um, I know this is not the cheapest time grinder you can get on Amazon. It's like 79 pounds uh, if you get it, or like $99 uh, if you get it from the US. However, in China, this is only sold for 209 RMB, which, bruh, you know, is roughly translates into like $30, so a little bit more than that. So it's such a great deal, right? Uh, and the thing is, it uses the dual bearings. Um, I'm about to tear this apart to show you guys how it works. So this is how you adjust the fines, right? The coarse and fine. So it's basically here. If you turn it clockwise, you're making your um, grounds finer. Otherwise, if you turn counterclockwise, you make it a rougher grind. So, I'm going to show you, oops, bearings and everything, this is a copper plate, and uh, this is the blade. So you see, this is basically a generic blade, so this blade it has, it's kind of like a star pattern right here, right? Um, I've used this for like a little bit over a mouth now, and this is the spring to charge it. And this is the axle, all right? This is the axle. And, and inside, you can see there are two bearings um, on the top and uh, in, the, in the middle. And how it works is basically with this, uh, with this axle put inside. And there's a washer. You put the washer in, the spring, um, and then put the blade in. A cover plate to hold it and there is this uh, protruding part this is like driving the blade to tor to turn with it and you have to make sure it fits in like this all right and then you just screw this right in that's how it works okay so I've used this for like over a month now, but I think at first it was really impressive for this price. Um, until I have found this. But before talking about this, I'm going to talk about the biggest problem I have found about this grind. So I'm just going to show you right now. Can you see that? It's kind of like, although it's very smooth, right? It's playing those kind of like lasts for over 10 seconds but it actually wobbles it wobbles a lot what it means is actually it's not centered the axle is not centered so for every angle it turns like some of the grinds the coffee grinds are going to be finer and some of it's going to be coarser and that's the problem and this is this is not a very consistent result so currently, I've decided to send this to one of my friends as a gift. Um, so this mm. is a super duper deal. I mean, this is not registered as a brand yet. Um, they have a kick-ass name. It's called King Grinder. King Grinder. It's called King Grinder. And I got this for like uh, 570 RMB which translates into less than, it's kind of like $90. Let, let me show you what we'll get you for 90 bucks, all right? So first of all, the quality, the build quality is kind of like a grenade. There's no play whatsoever. And this thing, the whole thing, it just weighs a lot. Um, the total weight is around 650 grams, so like, a pound and like one and a half pound almost. It's very heavily built. This is the uh, the 
for the this is how do how do you say this? To, this is the holder, right, to catch the uh, the ground coffee, and uh, this is the axle. You can see that. And what I like it most is the way you adjust the finest of the coffee beans, right? You can twist it on top. Can you hear that? It clicks. It clicks like a Swiss watch. I mean, I mean it's kind of like uh, exaggeration, but um, this kind of precision, it makes you feel in your high end. It's just amazing. And all the way down, and you're going to see it goes to zero. That's where everything starts, right? So for every turn you make, there are 60 clicks. So normally to make espresso, you make it like around one turn, right? So that's the, the finest level I make for espresso. And um, for brewing coffee, I'd like to make it like for two turns, but based on the different uh, the different uh, level of um, uh, different kind of beans, right? Sometimes you make need to be coarser, some you need to make it finer. It all depends on how much extraction time you need. So, like the two two turns, two circles, it's normally for the brewing coffee. That's that's the settings I use a lot. Um, and I'm going to talk about the differences. So you have to look at the structure, right? So the build of this grind, everything is made of aluminum and it's CNC'd out of like a single piece of aluminum. Unlike the Thai Moore chestnut C, you see, the center support is made of plastic. Um, even for the uh, like the most popular, the Commandate, right? The German brand, the Commandate C40 MK3. It's, if you look inside, it's still made of plastic. Some people say plastic is to save weight, but like for me, it's to save cost. But for this thing, 90 bucks, everything is made of aluminum. And the bearing inside, you can actually see that. The bearing is very big. Right, it has a diameter of 10 millimeters. So, just imagine a 10 millimeter diameter would do. So, like for this one, the bearing is like has a diameter of seven millimeters. So, with three millimeters more of diameter, you're going to get a much stronger rigidity of the of the whole center um, of the of the whole blade, and. Um, um, I, I cannot tear this apart because I, I don't know how to do that. I have to get an Allen key to trace everything off. But I have seen some tutorial videos, uh, video tutorials online, um, and you can actually you can, you can search for them themselves. The axle and the blade is linked together. So basically they're the whole thing. So the blade doesn't get attached onto the axle. The axle and the blade, they are a unibody, right? So that's make it very, very different. Some people say um, if they gave the uh, quality of the ground coffee for the Commandate C40 like a hundred score, right? But this can easily get a 95. I haven't used a C40 yet, but for the money I've spent on this one, this is like one of the best deals I've ever had in recent years. All right. So um, this is it. This is the uh, review. And uh, in the future, I'm going to talk about um, you know some other videos about the, you know different kinds of things and uh, the different kinds of settings of the finest, right? How does it affect the taste, um, the temperature, the extraction time, the way you pour the water? So there will be a lot of things I'm going to discuss about in the future. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like it, please feel free to share it with your friends. Um, and this is Ryan for the auditory review. So from time to time, it's going to review something I think it's um, interesting or worth sharing in my life. So I'd like to see you guys again. Peace.